Hello, my YouTube friend. We're back in the shop and we have a lot of work to do. It's kind of my first day back at work after since the weekend. I've been hanging out with my friend Brian all week, just going to all the local spots and hunting for cool stuff. A little bit of work in the shop, but now I got to catch up. So let's get an update, see where we're at. Hey, my clear front, I'm trying to keep clear is full of junk. Actually, I think these are just empty boxes. Yeah, so this should only be like 10 minutes. I can re-clear that up. And then over here, uh, just more clutter. I still got to price this. I got to kind of clean up the front a little bit because in about an hour or so, I think, uh, I have the guy coming in with a ton of Funko Pops that's closing down his shop. So he's bringing me the first batch of about 450 Pops. Uh, I don't know how many total he has. I think it's thousands, but we're going to do it like one batch at a time. I go through it, price it out, pay him, etc. So next week, I'll probably be buying a bunch more big batches from him. So it's going to be fun. I'm going to have a lot of stuff in stock. I don't know if it's going to be a lot of grails. I think it's just going to be a lot of bulk. But I don't mind that because, you know, people still want $10 pops. $10 pops sell just as well for me as the $50 pops. So it's I told him I needed Pokemon. So I'm hoping he brings a lot of Pokemon right now because I keep selling them to the kids. So it'd be really cool to get like 100 Pokemon pops. But I don't know. But once they come here, we'll go through them together and kind of figure out, uh, you know, what's in there. So 450 pops is 15 of these boxes worth. So that's kind of, I need to make room for that. So I think over here, today's plan is I'm gonna to try to get as much of this on the shelf. We actually had someone buy like $240 worth of Simpsons stuff. So we sold a lot of Simpsons yesterday, uh, but there's still a lot of toys on the floor. So I'm gonna to try to get these up on the shelf here somehow. Try to get those all organized. And then uh, whatever pops are still on the floor try to get those up on the shelf because I feel like there's plenty of shelf space right now. So if I get all that, I should be able to clear this out and have enough room for all the pops that we get today. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of duplicates. I told him to bring me duplicates today since it's Friday and I don't like to buy too much on Fridays. So I told him if he wants to bring a lot more like kind of duplicates today or just like unopened cases of stuff, that's okay because it'll just be easier for me to process. And then up top here, I could probably find some space to put maybe like a hundred pops. I gotta reorganize that Simpsons shelf. Yeah, so I got to organize a little bit. Let me work on that for a little bit, and then I will give you an update when he arrives with the Funko Pops. All right, first update, kind of building a trash pile here. I've been sweeping the floor, made some protectors. Uh, we got more protectors to work on, making some room here. Uh, I emptied out, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes. So we're going to use those for the new Pops. And we brought a couple more empty boxes. And then over here... Basically, I empty out all the boxes onto the shelf. I put some of the Simpsons right there. So I made a lot of room here for all the new pops. We're down to just one kind of like random box of stuff that uh, I don't really have sections for at the moment. And some of the carded stuff. Uh, I think throughout the weekend, I'm gonna start working on this area too, because I feel like I can fit more stuff once I kind of clean this up a little bit, because it's kind of crazy. Okay, so he should be here any minute now. We're almost ready for a giant Funko Pop haul. Michael just traded it in, the Titan form Aaron. Super cool, the box is a little bit worn, but not terrible. Really cool pop. But the big show is here, six giant boxes. I believe it's about 450 pops. Uh, I told him this time to bring in a lot of duplicates because uh, it's Friday. I don't have a ton of time to go through them today. So, but he tried to get me things he thought would sell. So uh, we have a whole bunch of wrestling here. Like he has 21 of that one, 31 of that one, five, three, eight, four. So that's cool. Uh, a bunch of office pops, which is good because we're low on that. A bunch of Stranger Things because he figured with the new season out, people want those. Uh, some Batman ones, which are awesome. A bunch more office pops, which we need. We are actually out, so I'm actually happy to see that. Even if there's like Jim Halbert, 23, but it's Jim Halbert. So people will buy him eventually. <laughs> All right, Saturday, we open up in about half an hour. So I got to the shop a little bit early because I got to clean up because it was a big mess. I didn't have my battery for my camera yesterday, so I couldn't film the collection as it came in. But let me kind of show you the aftermath. I filled up all these boxes in the front, so I got to find a spot to put these. I think I'm going to try to put them in the back on the shelf. Uh, so there is a lot of duplicates, stuff like this. I mean, stuff that's going to sell, it's just going to take a while for some of it. He had a ton of office pops, which are great. So I'm gonna go through those in a minute and show you actually what I put out. Okay, and then uh, just some more duplicates here. Uh, I gotta clean up this mess. <laughs> it's a lot of aftermath. I gotta move all this stuff so people can get through here. Uh, this empty. No, that's just some extra stuff I gotta deal with. I got some protectors to put away. 
uh, more stuff to put away. I got to put away these bins because I was working on cleaning those up yesterday. And then this, let's see, these three boxes, four. So we did put five boxes out of Pops. That's actually quite a bit. So let's just go through these real quick. Let me show you what we got. Okay, let's start over here. So he did bring me a bunch of Stranger Things Pops, which are great because the new season's out. I still have to watch it. I did watch Obi-Wan and I enjoyed it. We got Drew Brees. So I put out two of each pop. Raiden. Uh, he had some Mortal Kombat stuff. Uh, Drew Brees. So he had between like uh, a few things he only had one or two of. Some of the pops he had up to 30 of. So a lot of this stuff I'm going to have a bit of supply of for a while, which is cool. Uh, so like Wayona Earp, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to sell it, but I think there's only two of those. But then he had, you know, six biggies. So the Toys B.I.G., these will sell. They always sell when I get them. Uh, the Mortal Kombat stuff, uh, I should sell. You know, when the movie came out, people were getting really excited to get them. Some more duplicates. Let's find the stuff that, oh, Aaron Rodgers, there was a bunch of those. Uh, the Jeepers Creepers Creeper is cool. Really like that one. We had just one Rob Zombie, so one kind of better one, or more valuable one. Uh, we got some of the Terminator pops. Those are neat, especially the endoskeleton. Love that one. Um, Sub Zero. Yeah. Okay. So the rest of us just duplicates in there. Okay. Box number two. Uh, he had one box that was a lot of wrestling stuff. A lot of Steve Irwin's. Those are going to own for a while. <laughs> but then some uh, Dragon Ball Z stuff, which is always good. And stuff like this that I think has potential for value with the movies coming out. You never know when the Fantastic Four Pops are going to explode in value. So I actually have to have some of those. Uh, like I said, a lot of wrestling stuff. More wrestling. And more Dragon Ball Z. I think he had a lot of this stuff. But some of these pops that had chases, I think he bought a ton just to get the chases. And then he, the commons, he, I guess, didn't sell as well, which it's true. Whenever you have those pops that have a chase, the uh, commons are always hard to sell because people buy multiples. So there's usually a lot of extras in the marketplace. I love that one. That one is cool. Uh, okay, let me find stuff that's not duplicates. Like I said, I did two of each. That's the bottom row. Yeah, we have a lot of those. Oh, these ones I overpriced a little bit because I think the prices are starting to climb on that or will climb very soon. So I'm not rushing to sell it for cheap. Android 17. More Dragon Ball. Okay, so that's that box. The one thing I liked about this collection of stuff since it's all stuff that he bought the resell from, uh, I think it was all actually directly from Funko. It's all in really nice brand new condition. So I didn't have to spend a lot of time cleaning them. So it went pretty quick to price it all out yesterday. And uh, some, you know, some of it I'm going to be stuck with for a while. But a lot of this, it's just nice to have stuff to put in the shop that I can restock as it sells out. And it's, uh, you know, some of the stuff will just continue. Like Smokey the Bear, he'll sell. He's cool. So I have, you know, I have six of those, I think. Uh... Uh, that was another box. We have Lucas. No, just Cheetah. Any of the ad icons will sell. I actually had a case of my own of 36, and I think I sold out of those last year. Iceman, again, these X-Men ones, I think have potential gaining value as they show up in the movies and whatnot. Like I said, Submariner, I overpriced a little bit just because he's going to be in the Black Panther movie and people are going to be buying them up to flip them. So I'm pre-flipping them a little bit. Uh, sure. And uh, honestly, at $20, that's about how much you'd pay with shipping on eBay. So I'm like, I'm just basically getting the full eBay price. Normally, I don't include the shipping and the value. Uh, Becky Lynch, this one is really cute. I kind of want that one. All right. I'm seeing what a oh, vulture. Trying to see if there's any other duplicates I'm missing on the bottom here. Okay, we have Elias from wrestling. Got Angel. Love the excellent ones. 
Oh, Naomi, I think I got a bunch of these. Uh, and this stuff, if you guys see any of these that you want to buy from me, normally I'm trying not to do mail order because I just don't have time to try to track and package things up. But since I have so many duplicates of this stuff, I should be able to pull it pretty easily. So if you want any of these, just let me know and we can figure it out. Diesel. Just because I, you know, it's not, a lot of times people are asking me for the hottest, newest stuff that's sold out. And uh, that stuff, it sells in minutes. So I'm not really, I don't need to do the extra work. And I don't want to do the extra work because I have very limited time. But if I have, you know, 20 of these, 10 of these, even three or four of these, I don't mind doing a little extra work just because it's going to take longer for me to sell them. So I can actually take the effort to ship and mail these out. That's another reason why I kind of like these. It makes it a little bit easier for me to interact with you guys. Uh, okay, let's see what we got. We got the Joker. Blade Billy, Coca-Cola Bear. Uh, oh, he only had one of this, and this one was a little bit damaged. Just one of the only, I think there was only two dented out of all of them, and there was almost 450 total, I think. Oh, this one I think is underappreciated. I really like this one. Just the fun Pez Girl. Uh, we got the Energizer Bunny. We have... Mr. Freeze. Uh, we have the Cool Aid Man. Do you like this one? This one PPG value is way off. It says it's worth like twenty-four to thirty, something like that. But it's not. It's worth twelve dollars. So that's the thing. A lot of this stuff PPG is not updating, so you have to be more careful with the values. With PPG right now, you have to be a lot more careful with the values. A lot of people keep bringing in stuff and insisting that their stuff is worth fifty bucks. I look on eBay and it's like selling all day long at $20. Uh, the Chimichanga Deadpool for the longest time, it was $46. I had three different people actually get kind of mad at me that I wouldn't give them like close to the $46. I said, it's not selling. I finally went to PPG and added the, if you want to volunteer, you can volunteer at PPG to help price things. Uh, I sent in the eBay listings for the last 10 sold and it's now down to $18, which is kind of what it's selling for it's not going for 46 anymore so if you had that i am sorry i corrected the value on there but uh it's just it's not updating last july they lost the feed from ebay they're not getting the feed of all the listings now so it has to be all done manually so because of that some prices are very inaccurate at the moment so you have to be very careful i caution you by just looking at ppg you have to double check ebay if you see it and it's my philosophy is when i scan a pop and if the value comes up and it says it's worth 12 bucks, that's retail price. I don't even think about it because that's how much it's going to cost in every store. But if it's a common like this and it comes up at, uh, I don't know what it comes up at, $32, something like that. Uh, I question it. And then I check eBay and I look and I see a whole bunch of listing. Or the other thing is I also scan it on Amazon, on Amazon Sellers app. And I see that it's in stock for $12. So I know it's not worth the price PPG is. It just means that someone hasn't updated the value manually in the last year or so. And by manually, how PPG works is you have to actually send in the eBay listings because it gets its value off of eBay. So you can't just make up a value. You have to show actual sold values. And some sellers, it blocks. It doesn't let the, those listings because some sellers are known for selling bootlegs, so they don't count those. And if there is a problematic price, uh, you can flag them and they'll correct them. So PPG is all volunteer right now. It probably could use a lot more people adding to the values. I do it a little bit if it's something that I keep seeing that's way off. That I just don't have a lot of time to do it. I wish I could do it more often. But uh, I try to do prices here and there when I see things are just way off. Okay, let's look at some more pops. Okay, we have the Riddler. He's cool. Two-Face. Lucas. Those prices are falling off. Okay, we got Dustin from Stranger Things. Uh, we have Steve from Stranger Things. Uh, okay, we have, oh, I think we have Sprout and the Green Giant and Captain Crunch. Did I show you the bottom? I forget if I showed you the bottom. <laughs> we got Captain Crunch, the Energizer Bunny, and uh, other one is the green giant green giant he's cool okay so that's everything in this box okay final box we have a whole bunch of office pops which i'm actually really happy for these even if there's a lot of duplicates because the office sells well for me and i was sold out so now i have like 
eight or so different, I think. Maybe six. Six or eight different. And I have a whole bunch of them. So I'll have a lot of stock of the office for a while. Which I am super happy with. No uh, exclusives or anything. Just the commons. But still, people are going to want these. Because they come in looking for office pops for a friend. Or they love the office. And uh, they kind of sell themselves, honestly. I like pops from shows that people just buy pretty much everything you get. Because they love it. That makes my job easy. I don't have to work at it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, more Stranger Things. Stranger Things kind of sells more when you're closer around the show. So I suspect these will start selling this weekend. Unless the new season is not good. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. I'm hoping it's really good. Oh, Bell's Nickel. That one's fun. Uh, Meredith Palmer. Oh, actually, my mom wants that one. So I'm going to have one for her on hold. Uh... Uh, got that one. Got a couple of those. And I think, yeah, Michael Scott and Straight Jacket. Yeah, so that's all the pops from that collection. So I asked him, and I think he said he has about the same. I just bought, I think, all just under 450 pops. So I believe he has another selection of about 450 pops. And then he has a bunch, well, that are in the big giant moving boxes he has. And then I think he says he had a bunch of unopened 36 count cases or 36 count cases with just mix of stuff in them. So it's going to be a long week or two as I buy from him. It's going to be a lot of pops, but it's really going to give me a good foundation inventory where I just have a lot of stuff that I can restock. And so far, the selection is actually pretty good. Even though it's just common stuff, it's actually stuff that I know is sellable. It's not so much, maybe the Steve Irwin and maybe like one or two others are gonna be a little bit harder to sell. But for the most part, like the office ones, those will slowly, you know, one here, two there, and the Marvel stuff will sell and the ad icon stuff will sell. So, so far it's been actually pretty good stuff for the shop. And I like having just a good inventory stuff that I can just keep feeding into the shop as it sells. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, so we open up any minute now. I really, I gotta get these bins away. I cleared out a bunch of stuff from them, but there's still a lot of work I gotta do on those. And I gotta clear out the front. I just have to make room because once we open, it's gonna be wall-to-wall -wall people. And I just don't, uh, I like having room so people can actually get through and do stuff. Okay, let me work on that. Okay, so I think I need to work on that. Because of that, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.